When we use Arduino in prototyping circuits, we often use our laptop and look at the Arduino IDE serial monitor to check some data being processed by the Arduino. But oftentimes, our prototype circuit should be standalone and should not be always connected to a laptop. In cases where there is no laptop, but we want our prototype circuit to display alphanumeric information coming from the Arduino, liquid crystal display or LCD is the way to go. In this demonstration, we will use LCD1602, which means it has 16 characters and two rows. The bare minimum components we need are the following. Arduino Uno, potentiometer, breadboard, LCD, jumper wires or connecting wires. To make sure that the wires are completely connected to the LCD and potentiometer, I soldered the wires on the LCD and also on the potentiometer. Now, I am sure that my wires are connected or intact with the LCD and the potentiometer. First step, make sure that the Arduino supplies the breadboard with a power supply by connecting the Arduino's 5-volt power pin to the breadboard red power line. Next, connect the ground pin of the Arduino to the breadboard's blue ground power line. Then, connect the LCD's ground pin or VSS pin to the breadboard's ground. Connect the LCD's VDD pin to the breadboard's red 5 volts power line. Extend the breadboard power line and ground power line to the other side of the breadboard for later use. Connect the LCD backlight anode pin, usually labeled as A or BLA, to our extended power line. Connect it in series with a resistor to protect it from excessive current. A resistor with a resistance of 220 ohms and above would be fine. Control the LCD screen contrast using potentiometer and connect the LCD backlight cathode pin to ground or zero volt. Connect the potentiometer pins 1 and 3 to power line and grid line respectively and then it's pin 2 to the LCD contrast pin. Usually, this LCD contrast pin is labeled as V0. Connect the LCD register select pin, usually labeled as RS, to the Arduino digital pin 12. RS pin determines where the alphanumeric character will be displayed on the screen. We supply it with voltage high if we want to input data or voltage low if we want to input instructions. Connect the LCD read or write pin, usually labeled as RW, to the ground power line to allow us to write something on the LCD. Connect the LCD enable pin, usually labeled as E, to the Arduino digital pin 11 to prepare the LCD to receive instructions. Signal is enabled by supplying it with high voltage or with high to low edge trigger. Connect the last four LCD data buses, usually labeled as DB4 to DB7 or D4 to D7, to Arduino digital pins 5, 4, 3, 2, in order. To program Arduino, connect it to the computer. Notice that upon connection, the LCD screen is also powered on due to the Arduino's 5 volt power supply to the breadboard. In your computer, open Device Manager by typing Device Manager in Windows search bar. Click Device Manager from Control Panel. And note that after Network Adapters, there is no visible COM or ports. But when you connect the Arduino to the laptop or computer, these ports devices appear and you can see that Arduino is successfully recognized by your computer. Open up the Arduino IDE in your computer. In the code, add hashtag include greater than sign liquidcrystal.h and then close it with less than sign to include the LCD library codes and access the LCD object built-in functions. Create an LCD object 
and indicate how the actual or physical LCD is connected to the digital pins of the Arduino. Inside the setup function, initialize the interface of the LCD by setting the dimensions of the display. Basically, you're telling the LCD that you will be using its full 16 character capacity and its two rows or two lines display system. By the way, let's save our code first and let's just name it as test underscore LCD. Though you can use other file name if you want. In the background, my Arduino IDE is downloading a package, but you may just ignore it. For now, select Arduino Uno in the board selection and compile it by clicking the Verify button. Let's just see if so far uh, the code is okay. Note that there is no error displayed in the output terminal, so we can proceed. Also, note that nothing happens yet on the LCD. In addition, when I rotate the knob of the potentiometer, notice that I am now able to adjust the contrast of the LCD. Inside the loop function, we can set the cursor at 0, 0. This means that we begin to display character at coordinates 0, 0 or at the first cell of the first line. This is because Arduino code follows the C programming language standard that indices should start at 0, meaning the first cell in a matrix is represented by index 0. We can now print the text Hello World and click the Upload button to send this code to the Arduino. Notice that Hello World is now displayed on the LCD. Let me adjust the screen contrast by playing around with the potentiometer. But what if we want to print another text, for example, I love you? on the second line of the LCD without setting the cursor to the next line? Let's compile and upload the code and see what happens. We can observe that the next text is directly printed right after the previous text and it's also truncated. To solve this problem, let's set the cursor to the next line by typing 1 on the second argument of the setCursor function. Let's compile and upload the program to Arduino. Now, we are able to properly print the text on the LCD. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and hit the notification bell button for awesome updates. Thank you for watching.